I'm James Spann with the Weather Extreme video for Thursday the 9th of February. Ooh, it's a busy time in the weather office, and as you probably know, tonight is the night for our Storm Alert 2012 stop in Phil Campbell up in Franklin County. Of course, last week we started in Tuscaloosa, but tonight we'll be up in uh, Phil Campbell. And again, uh, this is for Hackleburg and everybody in northwest Alabama, uh, Winston, Mary, and Franklin counties. We'll start at 630, get there early, and we'll have that big memorial wall with the uh, names of all 252 that died last April 27th. And uh, it's a pretty powerful show this year, so uh, bring the family. We, we hope to see you there. Hey, let's start with some Skycam shots around the network this morning. That's downtown Fayette and the courthouse there. It's cold. We're in the 30s. Here's a look at downtown Clanton and Chilton County and from Birmingham. That's high top the Daniel Building looking south over toward Red Mountain. All right, interesting little setup there. We, we've got that vortex setting up over eastern Canada that will deliver colder air and little upper low over Baja. Those things have to be watched. You know, those are... When those develop down there, they're not in the American upper air network, and sometimes little surprises can happen, so we'll keep an eye on that. And yes, we are in the 30s this morning. Birmingham at 34 uh, at 5 o'clock, and uh, it's going to be even colder this weekend. We're looking at a pretty good freeze in here Sunday and Monday morning. And around the nation, pretty hard to find any warm air now. And look it up over uh, James Bay in Canada, sitting at 20 below up there. Ouch. Now, that's amazing to me. This is February. Typically, we've got a winter storm or heavy rain or, or something going on, but really nothing right now in terms of watches and warnings. It is nice and calm. And the rain for the next five days, valid through Monday evening, and this is suggesting nothing. Uh, we might see a little bit of light rain tomorrow night into early Saturday or precipitation of some type, as you'll see. Let's look. This is the uh, GFS, the 06, uh, 06Z run, valid at noon today at 500 millibars. And you can see a lot of energy around the nation. Uh, no big storm. And, of course, the big vortex is up over eastern Canada, and the upper low is over Baja. And down below that today should be sunny and cool uh, with uh, mid low to mid-50s. And I say mid-50s, the latest data coming in cooler. Both the uh, GFS and the NAM are at 52 today, so it's going to be a cool day. Tomorrow, we'll start the day near freezing. And, again, mid to upper 30s. We note a uh, little moisture trying to move in, so clouds will be increasing tomorrow. The sky becoming mostly cloudy, and we could definitely see some uh, scattered light rain or a few sprinkles tomorrow night. And of course, we note that one, 1040 high coming down across the Canadian border. Let's go to uh, the RPM. This is midnight tomorrow night, and it doesn't show a lot. And You know, the air is going to be dry, but again, there could be a few sprinkles around. And this is the one that's interesting. Look at this now. Ooh. That's uh, Saturday morning local time. That is 8 a.m. And this is suggesting a chance of snow flurries for uh, North Alabama, basically from uh, about Interstate 59 North. Wouldn't that be something? And I think there might be some credibility to that. You know, we're always hesitant to mention snow flurries more than 24 hours in advance because people don't hear the word flurries. They hear the word snow and get the wrong idea. But uh, we'll just kind of watch trends there. This is midday Saturday. Back to the GFS. It turns cold. Uh, the uh, GFS is showing a high of 45 now with a good north wind. It'll be a blustery day. And then Sunday, uh, that's going to be a cold morning. In fact, the GFS all of a sudden is coming in at 19 it might be a little overdone in that we don't have any snow cover across the nation, but certainly uh, we'll be down in the 20s, and, and teens are possible for the colder valleys for sure. Monday of next week, little energy west of us. We'll keep an eye on that. Down below that, we are dry during the day Monday, but this is suggesting maybe some rain in here by Monday night. And then Tuesday, we'll hang on to the chance of showers with this uh, lead shortwave. This would not be a you know heavy rain or severe weather event, but clearly a chance of showers, maybe some thunder Monday night and Tuesday. Now the GFS has gone dry on Wednesday. We have seen runs that keep it wet and stormy on Wednesday, but quite frankly, this is in better agreement with the Europeans. So I think this might be the right solution. Wednesday would be dry. And then Thursday of next week, the next short wave ejects out of the southwest, passing just north of here. And that looks kind of stormy on Thursday, a week from today, the 16th. A 1,004 millibar low just north of the Ohio River with 
showers and storms in here. And again, that could uh, maybe bring up some strong storms if this is right. And this is the European Thursday evening. Pretty much the same idea. 1,006 millibar low north and west of here with showers and storms. All right, let's check the end of the forecast on the 24th. Ooh, a little troughing here. But the, the axis is west of the state. And look at this cold front uh, that would be setting up west of here. And that'd be kind of stormy and maybe much colder. But again, you know, we've seen looks all over the board out here. This is purely voodoo. And there's the uh, NAO look at the top. Almost all the ensemble members keep it positive. Still looking to see if it's going to go negative. And it just hasn't done it really since, you know, October, mid-October. It flirted with it back in mid-January, but uh, we'll see. You know, at some point that dam is going to break up there. And whether it happens by the end of the winter season, we just don't know yet. We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, the next video tomorrow, we're on the one-a-day schedule because of travel. We'll be out of town in Phil Campbell this evening, so the next video early tomorrow morning. And if you live around here, we do invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.